made from Tuesdays with Maury for y'all because we didn't get to finish it together. The 12th Tuesday, we talk about forgiveness. Forgive yourself before you die, then forgive others. This was a few days after the Nightline interview. The sky was rainy and dark, and Maury was beneath a blanket. I sat at the far end of his chair, holding his bare feet. They were calloused and curled, and his toenails were yellow. I held a small jar of lotion, and I squeezed some into my hands and began to massage his ankles. It was another of the things I had watched his helpers do for months, and now, in an attempt to hold on to what I could of him, I had volunteered to do it myself. The disease had left Maury without the ability even to wiggle his toes, yet he could still feel pain. <laughs> and massages helped relieve it. Also, of course, Maury liked being held and touched, and at this point, anything I could do to make him happy, I was going to do. Mitch, he said, returning to the subject of forgiveness. There is no point in keeping vengeance or stubbornness. These things, he sighed. These things I so regret in my life. Pride, vanity, why do we do the things we do? The importance of forgiving was my question. I had seen those movies where the patriarch of the family is on his deathbed and calls for his estranged son so he can make peace before he goes. I wondered if Maury had any of that inside him. A sudden need to say I'm sorry before he died. Maury nodded. Do you see that sculpture? He tilted his head toward a bust that sat high on a shelf against the far wall of his office. I had never really noticed it before. Cast in bronze, it was the face of a man in his early 40s, wearing a necktie, a tuft of hair falling across his forehead. That's me, Maury said. A friend of mine sculpted that maybe 30 years ago. His name was Norman. We used to spend so much time together. We went swimming, we took rides, to New York, he told me, he took, had me over to his house in Cambridge, and he sculpted that bust of me down in his basement. It took several weeks to do it, but he really wanted to get it right. I studied the face. How strange to see a three-dimensional Maury, so healthy, so young, watching over us as we spoke. Even in bronze, he had a whimsical look, and I thought this friend had sculpted a little spirit as well. Well, here's the sad part of the story, Maury said. Norman and his wife moved to Chicago. A little while later, my wife Charlotte had a pretty serious operation. Norman and his wife never got in touch with us. I know they knew about it. Charlotte and I were very hurt because they never called to see how she was, so we dropped the relationship. Over the years, I met Norman a few times, and he always tried to reconcile, but I didn't accept it. I wasn't satisfied with his explanation. I was prideful. I shrugged him off. His voice choked. <clears throat> Mitch, a few years ago, he died of cancer. I feel so sad I never got to see him. I never got to forgive. It pains me now so much. He was crying again, a soft, quiet cry. And because his head was back, his tears rolled off the side of his face before they reached his lips. Sorry, I said. Don't be, he whispered. Tears are okay. I continued rubbing lotion into his lifeless toes, and he wept for a few minutes, alone with his memories. It's not just other people we need to forgive, Mitch, he finally whispered. We also need to forgive ourselves. Ourselves? Yes, for all the things we didn't do. All the things we should have done. You can't get stuck on the regrets of what should have happened. That doesn't help you when you get to where I am. I always wished I had done more with my work. I wish I had written more books. I used to beat myself up over it. Now I see I never did any good. Make peace. You need to make peace with yourself and everyone around you. I leaned over and dabbed at the tears with a tissue. <clears throat> Maury flicked his eyes open and closed. His breathing was audible like a light snore. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. Don't wait, Mitch. Not everyone gets the time I'm getting. Not everyone is as lucky.